your community segment. They call it the greatest show and tell on earth, and it's coming to the Boston Children's Museum tomorrow. Here to tell us more about the Mini Maker Fair is Cora Carey. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. I was at the Boston Children's Museum not too long ago, and I saw Mini Maker Fair come up on the program, mm -hmm. and I thought it was just kids sewing, and much to my surprise, I mean, these kids, they may be tiny, but they're mighty when it comes to their ability to create things. Absolutely, absolutely. So one of my favorite things about the Boston Mini Maker Fair is it is a celebration of invention, innovation, creativity, the arts, um, and there's something for everybody. So mm -hmm. I think it's, what I love about it is it's one of the only events you can go to where it's sort of like being at a tech expo and a craft fair okay. and a state fair and a <laughs> science <laughs> all fair. All blended into it's one. All there. of those things. And um, this year, we're especially excited. Um, we have some new things this year. We have almost 100 makers, and we have one entire tent that's just youth makers. So wow. um, touching on what you said before, it's amazing what kids dream of. So who are these makers? Well, these are people from all over Massachusetts, um, Boston area, New England. We have someone coming from as far away as Ireland. And these wow. are everything from um, inventors who are doing this at a hobbyist level to um, roboticists and tech experts from MIT, um, from all over Boston and Cambridge. Um, so you're going to see a lot of robots. Yeah. <laughs> you can meet R2-D2 and BB-8 from New England R2 Builders. Always a crowd pleaser. <laughs> and um, it's artists. It's, it's just it's amazing because it's such a wide variety. There mm -hmm. really is something for everybody. And I love it for families especially because the parents can connect with sort of what I would call almost timeless crafts and trades like sewing, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, or woodworking, like you can build a, your own wooden marble maze with the Elliott School. Huh. And then you have everything from that to um, the world's blackest black paint, which is made with carbon nanotubes, which okay. I think is amazing. All in the carbon nanotubes. Yes, yeah. it's all about carbon nanotubes, Naturally. really, I mean, when you get down to <laughs> it. <laughs> um, everybody wants carbon nanotubes <laughs> these days. And um, there's going to be a lot of 3D printing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's a really unique opportunity to actually see some of the technology that we hear about okay. a lot. Um, and so for these edge. families making the trip to see this, so what do you hope they walk away with? Oh my gosh, well they're going to walk away with a lot of stuff <laughs> that they made because you can actually roll up your sleeves, get hands on and make things. So it's not just demos, it's not just watching other people make things, uh -huh. it's really a celebration of getting right in there and making stuff for all skill levels. That's what we're talking about. And it just unearths the potential of these kids so they can absolutely. understand that they, they are the future of STEM. Absolutely. Let's quickly just mention where and when this is happening before we go. Yes, so this is tomorrow, September 17th from 10 to 5 at Boston Children's Museum. The event itself takes place both inside the museum and outside the museum okay. in the surrounding area. So we'll have food trucks, we're shutting down Sleeper Street. It's huh. going to be really a Festival. It's the place nice. to be. We saw on the website Absolutely. the post there where you guys were counting down for several days here. And it's Absolutely. Almost here. You, you can get in on all the fun at Boston Children's Museum tomorrow from 10 to 5. So, again, something you may want to take part of to start a Sunday. We'll be right back.